Hello. How are you doing, people? Oof. <laughs> I was arranging videos on YouTube, that's why the delay. Because I have a lot. But I can't manage everything. What's up, guys? Hmm. The fight from yesterday, people. The fight from yesterday. I released it on my YouTube channel. And it's the only fight that exists. What was the name? Uh, Demo Dan. And Slaver. Unfair. The only video <laughs> on the internet, especially with loons. I think Victor is gonna do it on solo. He didn't reach this yet. But definitely is the only one. Alright. Demodan on Slayer. I was sure, you know. Yeah, I'll release, I'll release them more often, I'll release them more often, for sure. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for two months. I don't use that block. Imagine me the turn from... From ads to use an ad block. That's disgusting, okay? I earn like that. Now imagine doing something contrary to, to the way I earn. That would be fucking stupid. You know. All in all, this is the very first one uploaded on the internet. Alright. The very, very first one. Desna, guide my hand! Die! Man. Dante, thanks for the 29 months, Dante. Yurian, how are you doing? I thought, you know, when I fought yesterday that I am among the first. I could never imagine that I'll be the first. Okay, the only one. To be more precise. I'm sure Victor will do it on solo. When he reaches that. But that's gonna be only two channels with content. Mine and Victor's. The only two on the entire internet. Him is for solo. I'll do it with loons. So you'll even have different content. On those two channels. What doesn't work, Toxic Bubblegum? Everything works, you just need to know how to use it. I'm close to Italia. Very close to Italia. After all, I live in an old Roman city. The Roman Empire was here. I live on 500 meters where Constantine the Great was born. So basically, yes, you can consider me a Italian, if that thing even exists. That was all Roman Empire back before. And I was born only 500 meters away from the Roman Emperor. Which was way before the Christ. Basically, everything you see in Europe is Roman Empire. The entire Italia all the way to Egypt, entire Balkan, all of that is Roman Empire. Now whether you want to call 
nations by different states now that's your choice but everything is roman empire we can just call ourselves different now i know where i was born and i know who was born here where i was born i'm gonna go to his museum very soon or better to say i'm gonna go to his house from constantine the great and I'll upload the video on the YouTube channel. I'll show you everything there is about Constantine the Great. Because that's very close to me. And you're gonna see it in person here. That's gonna happen in the next few days. Yeah, but I hate calling it vlogs, okay? I call it a fucking video. Then you're gonna see Constantine's house in the video. I wouldn't call it vlog. Vlog. It's a fucking video. No, to show the city it would take it would take whatever, it's not a small city. But I can show you Constantine's house. Because this all where I'm currently right now was the ex-Roman Empire. I was speaking with Dante about the Roman Empire and so on. Uh, what did I say, Dante, were the research for Roman Empire? Out of 28 emperors before Christ, 18 were from this area where I live in. Okay, 18 of them. Only 10 were from the area where Italia is right now. And 18 of them were from Balkan. That's a fact. And also for Ottoman Empire, for example. Uh, during the time of Ottoman Empire, 24 out of 32 Ottoman generals were from Balkan. Picture that number. So both for Roman Empire from or Ottoman Empire, you had tons of generals from the entire Balkan. More than 50 combined. And the emperors too. I believe there were five or six Roman emperors from Balkan. The rest of them were generals. More than a hundred. Alright. I don't want this. I killed this thing, but I don't want it. I'm gonna leave it. We ain't gonna do it now. So before we went to the Scotty, we're gonna go somewhere else. Because the Scotty is easy. And I can do it in 10 minutes. So we use this save. I don't know when I'll do it, though. Probably during the next week, then I'll need time to edit the video. You'll see it, I guess. By the middle of this month. Oh. Oh. 
Where's my book? Uh, okay, let me see what's left. I don't check the journal because the journal is covered with a lot of bullshit. I don't want to read that much. In a lower city, arena, Descari, and three areas to go up. If I do the arena, I need social. In the upper city, I got slums. Arushali's quest is done. Can write it off. Savamalek is done. Storyteller's Tower. Let's go to Storyteller's Tower. I want to play Storyteller's Tower. Let's see what it is. Mm. Ah, over here. I don't even need to look at the map anymore, I know the entire is Alushinira. Solo challenge runs some there is not effective on to the right size campaign specific quests. I was talking about solo a lot of times. I believe that solo can be way much easier for unfair because you get experience faster. And I would get bored in the middle of it when I get overpowered. With companions, definitely it's the biggest challenge because they steal experience and you need to switch them non-stop. And with mercs, it would be like something in between solo and and companions. So if I do the next run, it's gonna be full mercs because I would love to stump the game. And then I would go with companions again, but with different builds, okay? And then I might do solo for a fourth run. Now when will it happen? I don't know. It's always, in every CRPG, solo runs are always easier than companions. Because of the shared XP. Okay. In Divinity, in Kingmaker, in Wrath of the Righteous, in Wasteland, in I don't know what else, in Baldur's Gate 2. It's always easier to play as solo. Because you get everything for yourself. And you don't share the stupid XP. By playing, for example, this with companions, it's not only a challenge to win those fights on Unfair. It's also the stupid builds of companions. They're basic builds that you need to manage somehow. I figured I need a second key, and I only have one key. So we need to find a second key, and then we can go to Echo of the Scary and unlock both of those before I flame everything. Gunner, how you doing, Gunner? Thoughts on the zone? I love it. But performance sucks. The only thing that sucks is performance. Other than that, I love it. 
It's extremely unique. It's a game on its own. Uh, literally a game on its own. I forgot what I was playing, by the way. I've been for days now in Alushinira. And I forgot there is an army management, that there is the main map, that there is the fucking kingdom. I forgot what's happening around Dresden. I bloody forgot it all. That's how long I'm here. So it's a game on its own. But I like it. It's really good. Strong, strong act. To the storyteller's tower. I will help where I can. Unbiased opinion. The art of making friends, find some useful whatever. A success worthy of praise. Description is written in archaic Kelvin script. You recognize the word strangers fall. I see you and I implore Calistria. It appears to be some kind of protective spells against thieves. But it lost its power over the years. Hide from me. Hmm? Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> God damn it, I should have taken Wolgif for this. Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. I should have taken Wolgif for this. The first game is like three times smaller than this one. Although this one is huge. to take Wolchev. He can disarm from afar. He's an arcane trickster. I didn't know. Man, it's hot when I put this on, it's cold when I pick it up. That's autumn for you.
Oh. With the all it's quite simple. There you just heal everything along your way. The best way if you wanna have fun is heal with health. A success worthy of praise. Meditate on your mistakes. Might make you feel better. Can't hide from me. Uh, don't mind me. Do I need Vulture, by the way? I just seen it now. I mean, I got saves. Let me see if I need him, though. I haven't figured this shit out. Together we stand. Hope I need to jump around. Call me again if you need to. It seems like I don't need him. This was uh, simple enough. Without Vulture. My bet. Thought I needed to jump around those traps. Didn't see the one behind me. I sense something. Hmm? Can't hide from me. Call me again if you need to. This was simple enough. This was simple enough. And then that 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 that. Are we in trouble yet? Move slow. Move slow. of a demon that was not smart enough to avoid the magical threat, the wreckage. Thanks for the follow. Wreckage of what was once a magical golem. Judging by the many dents on its remains, it was destroyed in a fierce fight. Storyteller was speaking about the golem. I wonder how many floors this tower has. Move out! Head on. You require my unbiased opinion? The waiting is never right, Always we be ready for this the worst. War. Oh shit, that didn't Battle rest with Scylla after the reset. Fighting for a righteous cause is certainly different from the The four of us are ready. No one stands in my way. No reason to pause. 
Oh, skip the pleasantries. You are my favorite egg. Your Do not fear. Do not waver. A bright future awaits us. Disappear. Hey, get the fuck out. It's easy. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Two thousand XP, they're that easy. Wreckage of all of one magic golem, judging by the many dents on the remains, it was destroyed in a fierce fight. Can't hide from me. Call me again if you need to. A success worthy of praise. Inscription once contained a spell of warning. When an intruder appeared, he could let out a chilling howl to raise the alarm. Fortunately, the enchantment has worn off with the passage of time, so your ears have been spared. I lead, you follow. This was simple enough. Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. I'm curious. Uh huh. Can't hide from me. Uh huh. What's over there? Jesus Christ, man. Together we stand. This was simple enough. Call me again if you need to. This was simple enough. Lead on. It is no trouble. was simple enough call me again if you need to onwards uh, what is this shit He won't move anymore. Need to move them all up. Meditate on your mistakes. Might make you feel better. One of the way. I mean, you're supposed to do it with this thing's moving. I'm all ears. This is not how it works. This is not how it works. Hmm? This is not how it works.
I lead. You follow. In trouble yet? This is not how it works. Onwards! Always be ready for the worst. The mongrel did it. Nice. Spirit Trackers. Grand Spirit Hunter for additional Spirit Hunt. Weapon and shot. For Camellia. Thousand gold. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. Ideas. Is there anything else? I, I guess that's it. I'll lead them all up. God knows how many levels there are in the tower. This magic trap is now old and dysfunctional after centuries of disuse. It will once have irreversibly blinded any thief who gazed upon it. This was simple enough. Move out! What the fuck? You see a sturdy door set in a stone arch in the middle of the room. The location seems rather odd, to put it mildly. Attached to the door is a tidy little metal belt with a braided hole. Examine the door. You see spells shrouding both the door and the bell, judging by the nature of the spells that belong to the conjuration. Examine closely. An ordinary door. And judging by the intricate carvings in the door, it's a veil which make. The bell also appears quite unremarkable. Though the bell tool is covered in an ornate pattern, pull the bell, ring the bell. The door swings open and a thermal form appears in the opening. It looks like a soap bubble. On the other side of the door, you can just make out a hazy interior of a small trinket filled room. The typical ambience of a Golarian inn. Storyteller, what is this? This storyteller. Clutching the door handle, a skinny figure falls through the soap bubble. The bubble contracts and pops, dissolving into the air. The door slams shut, cautiously touching the stone floor. The unexpected guest rises slowly to his feet. It seems that the storyteller, for it is undoubtedly him, is quite surprised. Storyteller. The storyteller he swivels around in bewilderment, his hands reaching to examine everything around him. Where am I? How did I get here? Who's there? 
I remember the sound of that breathing. It's that you, thank the gods, it's you, where are we? And if you don't mind me asking, what brought you here? How did you get here? A good question, judging by the demon's speech I hear, we're in the abyss, correct? Then I suppose I was brought here by a portal. It was most likely activated by you. This portal must be charged specifically to deliver me here, wherever I may have been. I hope it will send me back the same way. You're unlikely to have charmed it this way. If you had, you wouldn't be surprised by my appearance. This means the spell was cast in the past, in my past, the one I'm looking for. I have to admit this finding is quite intriguing and perplexing. But this place where we are, it's a tower, isn't it? I'm right, it's a tower. Why did you need this portal? I've forgotten my past. I must have done something that required re regular visits to the Abyss. Or regular visits from the Abyss to Golarion. Such a portal is quite convenient means of transportation. It is also well secured against uninvited visitors. What do you think of Godfrey ordering me to go to the Abyss? I'm not a politician or a military leader, but I've seen all sorts in my life. That's why I have some experience in no different stories. The story I'm watching now, it did not strike a word with everyone. There are many in Dresden who are saddened by your departure for the Abyss. There are even some among them who say, though in a whisper, that Galfrey was envious of her commander's glory and was in a hurry to be rid of him. But most do not think this. Majority praises the queen and expects her to lead them to new victories over the demons. It's quite possible that she will succeed right now, as far as I know. Galfrey is actively preparing for an advance to the west, into the heart of the world wound. Do you know something about purple crystals? You were looking for the heart of the tower. I studied its capabilities here in Oshinira. You must have seen the socket it was placed in. Unfortunately, the details of my research are hidden from me by the gloom of oblivion. Perhaps if I let my hands on such a crystal, I would see something else in my past. Do you know where to get one of these? Do they come from mines or maybe from the bottom of the sea? The elf takes out a delicate compass from his bag, the needle of which is slowly but constantly spinning. I sense the power we are looking for. My hands have touched it in the past. In the past, I do not remember. I think a little divination will come in handy. I can see this little trifle to help. Explore the caves here. When you're near the crystal, the compass will let you know. We received the storyteller's compass, I see. The sense of recognition is truly astounding. I definitely used to live here. And if there are no other claimants, I'm ready to become the owner of this tower again. Be my guest anytime. Haha. <laughs> How's Galfrey? She's acting in a manner befitting the queen standing at the head of the crusades. As for her spirit, I do not know. But I'll ask her on your behalf if you'd like. Best not to. As you wish. I have to go. I suspect it's difficult for you to carry out your mission surrounded by enemies. I would like to help. Unfortunately, I will not be able to bring your allies of reinforcements through the portal. Supplies, however, when I return to Galarian, I will buy some travel necessities. If you need anything, ring the bell, and I'll deliver them to you. Let's replenish. I got something from you from Galarian. Ah, nice. Timely assistance. Too bad I don't have money. Never an ally. In the 25th area of the wire lands a killing blow. This belt constitution plus four makes the wire next spell extended. As though using the extend spell feat. It also means the wire plus four if that's going to beast. A spirit treasure quarter staff. Plus six charisma. Three times per day you can push away enemies from yourself and deal blood damage. Boreal might.
Ice Storm, Cone of Cold, Cold Ice, Ice Body, Polar Ray, and Polar Midnight. That's fucking good. Spiteful barbs. Plus five medium. Persuasion. Martial excellence. Additional blunt damage on hit with unarmed attacks. <laughs> Dragonfall against dragons and plus two to all stats against dragons. Monk only against evil attacks. Only by. Why can you wear it? Only monk of good alignment. Fuck you. The ring is nice. I love the ring, I love the belt. And this is nice too, with charisma. So how much I need? I need a lot. Really a lot. I mean, I could sell all of this and get it. Okay, good to know there's a storyteller here. Three good items that I can buy. Well, the notes, of course, for his past. I lead. You follow. I will help where I can. On my way. This was simple enough. I really love the tower, it's done great. It's done great. Wasn't that supposed to be a check with experience? Amazing place, this one. We need the pedestal. A faint purple glow emanates from a crystal shaped hole. Edges are chipped and cracked, suggesting that whatever it contains has been forcibly removed. I need to go with land first. Trouble yet? Can't hide from me. Damn it, man. I got damn it, you can't pass. I need to go around. <laughs> hmm? Can't hide from me. Again, this shit. Very good restraining wisdom. We can declare perfect strike five more times per day. I got a same one. 
Then I'm going to give it to you. Call me again if you need to. Move out! Rest here. This is a storyteller's room. How come there's nothing hidden? A little conductor. Magic device, touch attack, great for Volgia. What the fuck? Is that it? Find a Hindrian crystal, I will receive a cocktail. Storyteller's compass. It's set to help you find an Ahindrian crystal in the depths of the island of Alintia. What? Salintia. Again, I got demon heads everywhere in my inventory. Diran is now cutting demons' heads off. I transferred so many inside the chest and I still get those demon heads. Cut in the neck area naturally even and was probably performed by magic. You have no idea how this horrible remains wound up among your belongings. First he was cutting human heads in the camp, now he's cutting demon heads. Every swarm in the game, absolutely every swarm in the game is destroyed by fire or cold. Huge AoE. Then kite. Just kite. I mean, it depends. If you play turn based, then you can kite. If you go with real time, you can kite everything. God damn it, Diran. God damn it. We're done. It seems like we're done. Nice place. Nice place, storyteller. Examine the items I'm carrying. Restore the relic for me. Piece of cloak and the necessary materials. Let's go. Achievement unlock the legacy. What? What? What's the legacy? Restore Arilu's magic cloak. This is Arilu's magic cloak. 4.2 percentage. Dazzling light erupts. Dazzling light erupts from the storyteller's hands. The light pulsates, forcing you to squint in pain. When it finally fades away, you see a thick cloak in the elf's hands. 
This relic is truly legendary. It has absorbed the power that is too heavy for this world. I have a feeling that this cloak will suit you well. That we receive the bound of possibility. As soon as you... T uh, this is important for the main mission, it's extremely important. When an angel wears this cloak, his Sword of Heaven ability deals additional 4 dice of damage or heal an additional 4 dice of damage instead of 2. And I play an angel mythic bot. Ah, uh, I lose a lot on Fortitude Reflex and Will though. I really, really lose a lot, but fucking hell. Yeah, it's the angel. Yomedea sign. The bound of possibility. I deal even more damage now. This cloak looks amazing. Straight amazing. But this one looks cool too. Misty cover. The bound of possibility is only 175 gold, by the way. Believe it or not. Only 175. Why? Who put the fucking price on it? What is this shit? Uh, I just got it from a storyteller. As soon as you touch the relic, a vision washes over you. You experience the events as if you live through them. The crooked rundown house creaks when I enter. As if about to collapse on my head at any moment, I lower my hood and bow respectfully to the mistress of this abode. Another highborn arrived. What are you, sick? The old woman jiggles shrilly. Her voice is repulsive and her appearance worse still. She could easily have been mistaken for a corpse wrapped in a pile of rags. Her face is unpleasant and her skin is creased as a bat wing, widely plagued with warts. I have some I've come for healing, mother. Please be so kind as to help me. The druid chuckles nastily again. From the look of it, it's some kind of tech. She enjoys the feeling of power over me. I might treat you, girl, but not for free. No, not for free. Do you know what price I ask? I nod silently and take the gift out of my bag. Meat in slimy, bloody chunks. It is amazing how such an insignificant and common thing can be valued so highly. The old woman grabs the meat greedily, bringing it to her face, making sure it smells right. You must be in real trouble since you have come to me with fresh meat. The hag draws even closer, radiating the sickly sweat. Now they know the sickly sweet, unpleasant smell of old age. I impatiently wait for her to finish examining me. You smell bad, foul, you have committed a great crime against nature, and for that you suffer. The old woman's shrill voice becomes accusatory and imperious. You think you can ransom yourself from your doom? No, you will suffer, you will rot, and you will bleed for your sin. Uh, that's Arilu, because she opened the world wound. My patience runs out. With a quick gesture, I unchain my anger, and the druid tumbles away, crashing into a pyramid of cauldrons, which cascade down in all directions into a crumbled mess of broken shards. I grow sick of your antics. You understand who I am? Fine. I know you do. You're the oldest and strongest of the servants of Mother Vulture. You know how to heal what others cannot, and you will help me otherwise. The old woman cries out, frightened. She covers her face with her hands, her lips trembling. I wait apathetically for her to calm down. Realizing how close to death she truly is, the old woman hurries to comply. Her movements display efficiency that only fear and desperation can provide. Herbs, both commonly known and arcane, fly into the cauldron above the druid's fire. 
They're followed by meat I brought, magic powders and potions from small cobweb-covered bottles. When the decoction boils, the old woman cautiously approaches me and grips my cloak with her knotted fingers. Her demand is brisk. Give it to me, girl. I need it. I part with the cloak indifferently, and into the cauldron it goes. The old woman whispers incantations, seeming to take forever. Finally, she fishes into the cauldron with her walking stick and pulls out a wet, smelly cloak, handing it to me. Put it on your shoulders. This cloak, like a leech, sucks any disease from the soul, heals any corruption. The world has never seen a relic greater than this. The cloak smells disgusting, but I don't care. I slip it over my shoulders, feeling the magic lurking within it touch my dual soul. And then, flame engulfs me. The fabric clings to my body and the burning pain it brings is unexpectedly strong. She dared to hurt me. Me. I rip off the damn rag as the old woman's shrill laughter rattles in my ears. You tricked me. The old woman seems ready to dance. Tricked you. Not a word I said was untrue. There isn't a relic in the world better at healing than the one I gave you. But neither magic nor gods will help you with your misfortune. You are doomed, and you shall bear your wound till your last day. I clench my fist, snuffing out the old woman's life, but her body reeks and warps unnaturally. Four black wings grow out of her hunched back. Her wrinkled neck lengthens and splits in two. Her gnarled head becomes a matching, or rather slightly mismatching pair. And the toothless mouths on them both open wide to exude a putrid stench. Mother Vulture, do you honor me with a personal visit? The monster, with both heads lowered, looks at me intently. Its eyes sparkle with the same slyness, slyness as the last wearer of the hex can. Begun, architect. Neither or I nor anyone else can help you. The things you've done to yourself with your own hands can never be healed. You will endure pain for the rest of your days, and after that you will perish like every other living creature. From the greatest of heroes to the meekest of swamp bats. Such is the way of things. It's proper. Everything that lives dies so that a new life can be born out of it. Without wasting any words, I retreat to the door. Even the mighty usher of Farazma herself couldn't help me. But that doesn't mean anything impossible to heal, she said. I've done the impossible before, and I'll find a way now. So Arilo is sick. She got some curse on her when she opened the world wound. And that's why the cloak is from the angels. I want to test it out. It really looks amazing. It really, really looks amazing. But I lose so bloody much. I hate it. How come it doesn't come with bloody saves? It should have saves, not only damage or heal. I deal additional 4 dice of damage with Sword of Heaven. I should rotate this too. When I fight with Sword of Heaven, I should use this. Bound the possibility. It is nice though. Every cloak looks great. You know. Every cloak looks great. And now the great cloak of Misty Cover is useless. At least on this team. A 
found a page that might interest you. Another piece of evidence. I found a page that might interest you. No more. He wants more. Up we go, we did the tower. Found some great items for me, for Volgia. Great place, really great place. Where do we go now? We're going to the arena. I'll take social, we go to the arena. Till I got those buffs, so. Uh, five minutes. So do I go with Diran or Nenia? The arena? With Diran. Onwards. Going with Diran. Mahidrian crystal. Is it inside the cave? Inside the cave? Here? Is it here? In the cave? The storyteller compass starts to vibrate. The crystal should be some holy shit. We get a purple crystal. Compass emits low rumble and quiver like an impatient hound that has fought the scent of prey. Uh, it's gotta be what? Why with the team? Buzzes periodically emitting a grinding screech and shaking so hard you can barely hold it. The crystals are very near. the camouflage tunnel. Mahindrian crystals. I might get a mythic path now. 
That will be huge. And I need to go back to Storyteller after this. Hendrian Christ. And process and usually the robot. No time for debates. Give the crystal to story up or say ancient carnivores. And a freaking stun. They won't let me get away with a crystal that easily. You crossed the wrong mob. That's disgusting. The inheritor, guide my I fucking knew it. Out of my sight. I will resist. Fuck. Stay back. They don't want to let the crystal. <laughs> They're defending the crystal. The fucker is playing dead while I pass through. That's why I need a fucking cloak for those saves. Let's see how much damage we deal. Thank you. 
disgusting. The tower is disgusting. And Trap is doing this. This is Bismuth. I welcome your company. I saw CLT break enchantment. Let's move already. Yeah, it's so CL. Pleasantries. Only break enchantment works, come on. Where's Bismuth? All this waiting bores me. Together we stand. piece of shit. I'm losing my temper. We will win this war. Always be ready for I'm the prepared. Worst. <laughs> Why do you hate the Rushali, both of you? What do you do to trigger them? You've crossed the wrong mantra. It's a fortitude save for the trap. What does she do to trigger them so much? I shall not be swayed from my path. I'm all ears. <sighs> Together we stand. Do not fear. Do not.
me. Now with this still. Annoys me that I don't leave any experience. Oh, the oh. Yeah. Okay. Any more of these fuckers? We need to go back to Storyteller. Give him those crystals back. Move out. And yeah, it seems like enchantment is bugged. That's a problem. Especially later on with petrification. Insane how well this shit is done. Insane. Onwards. Let's see what happens with a Hydrian crystal. I need to call for it, the storyteller. Hand over the Hydrian crystal. What do you see? 
Storyteller takes the crystal, his face becomes twisted with evil rage and screeching cry bursts from his lips. A bloody stain spreads across your chest and the storyteller visions once again burst into your mind. Just as they did in Kenabres when you brought him the stone chisel. My wings take me higher and higher, stirring storms, but even they cannot disperse the ball of darkness hanging in front of me. Stupid little maggot, you think you can fly as high as me? My cheeky opponent does not answer, and the wound under my heart continues to gush streams of blood, tainting the feathers of Black Bolt and dripping into dark waters of Ishiar. There is something wrong with this wound. My strength is dwindling too quickly. This means there is no time to waste. I'll grab her, scrunch her up, cut her with my claws and throw her at the very bottom of the abyss. Quickly changing the direction of my flight, I rush forward and hit the center of the dark cloud. Where are you? My chest is thrust forward, ready to take any blow. My claws are cutting through the air. But she's not here. She deceived me. The dark cloud was a fake. Where are you? Her triumphant laughter echoes over the black ocean, so insulting, so insolent and impetuous. Someone catch the laughter, choke it. You seem to be failed at a wheel check. Piece of shit! You just don't do that in, in, in the middle of story, okay? You just don't do that fucking thing. No dice is when you do this. And if I want a wheel check, I need to switch. I can't fail with a purple one. That one for Angel. Very unique, but I can't fail with this one. They just freaking plus 40 all saves. Hand over. Succeeded. We'll check. Your mind is confused. Adrenaline pounds in your veins. By force of will, you manage to overcome this madness and concentrate on the storyteller's screeching voice. Who are you? You don't know me, I'm the demon lord Alintia, lady of harpies, sweet voice mistress and a seductive petal. My wings can embrace a mountain, and all in the abyss know my name. Who are you fighting? The pathetic upstart Nocticula. She attacked without warning and wounded me. Now she's hiding in her shadows. Think that she can get away from me. Your pathetic leathery wings can't compare with mine. It's how Nocticula brought down the previous owner of Alushinira. I mean, these are the memories of the previous owner. What are you fighting for? For power, for might, for superiority, for the right to fly over these endless waters, for the right to seduce the unlucky ones of our choosing. One of us will perish, the other will rise and get everything the loser owns. And I will be the one to triumph. She didn't, Nocticola won. She will win, overpower me, weaken my spirit, and my body will drop into waters of Ishia. The elf's voice becomes lower and lower, becoming denser and stronger like a stone that has decided to talk. From now on, I'm blood. I set and thicken. I grow firmer, stronger, I crystallize, I gain edges. Power lies dormant in me, and I lie dormant in the dark. A dark, heavy stone slab seems to fall on your back. But this is not enough to break you. Stubbornly straightening your neck, you continue to listen to the storyteller's monotonous voice. Are you the island of Olympia? The one Alushinera is built on? Yeah, uh, when Ecticula defeats a demon lord, she built Alushinera on top of its boats. And she killed Alintia, and that's how Alushinira came to be. The entire city was built on the bones of Alintia. Are you the island of Alintia? The one Alushinira is built on? Yeah, my body became stone, my flesh turned to firmament. 
and the power hidden in it made me expand as well. I'm the island and everything hidden within it. I thought the souls of demon lords went to the rift of repose after death. Yes, but not me. The one I used to be. She was supposed to go to a secret place, but someone stopped her. Lock her in this body. She didn't want those who fell at her hand to return. She found a way to lock the power that there remains, and the power is still there. And where are you? I'm lying in the ground, in the depths of my pots are laid. I'm asleep, waiting for greedy hands to touch me, gather me up, take my power for their own. What will happen to you next? You will take me out, your hands will take me out of the cavern. This is where the road, the pass, the one open to me ends. At least at this very moment, but I see something else, the future, a possible future. Droplets of spittle fly, fly from the old, old elf's mouth. His speech becomes furious and garbled, his voice trembling with tension. It hurts, the crystal is so huge, she's implanting it, sewing it into living flesh. My flesh, it loses power, soaking my flesh and blood, flowing in my ways. I am rage, I am agony, I am vilest my flesh. Okay, this shit is fucking hard now. Now it's getting fucking hard. But I wanna see the entire conversation. Three real checks. No wonder when my wisdom expired. Uh, the first check is very low, okay, extremely low. I need to switch the cape, and then save. No, I need to switch the cape. I switched cloaks, but my stupid luck with this 1 to 3 rolls is disgusting.
Oh, it's a suit. One little second, just to answer something on the phone. Overcoming the scarlet rage, seizing your mind, you get through the stream of insults and mingled words flying from the storyteller's lips. Who are you and whom do you serve? I'm a humble demon whose old name doesn't matter. From now on, everyone will call me the Foreign Father. Lady Hibzamira will lead me into the battle where I will crush her enemies. I will destroy them with my horrifying grunting that will rip their pathetic flesh from their meager carcasses. Who is implanting the crystal into you? Yuta Safan, the cunning one with snake eyes, one of the fosterlings of the upstart Tarilo. My mistress Yazamira ordered him to do it. She has many such crystals. I'm not the first or last to have had this done to them. Yuta Safan is weak and mortal spawn, but even he improves with practice. You see, I'm alive, I'm like the pathetic unfortunate who went first. Listen to storyteller's voice, try to understand why he's trembling. Feel that thirst for blood, the heat that pulses through a warrior before an imminent fight. The pride swelling with a demon that is speaking through the storyteller. That power that he yearns to feel as soon as possible, the beauty that he intends to embrace with honor. What fights, what fight awaits you? We're going to fight Nocticula. That winged upstart has been troubling our Lord Baphomet for far too long. Time to remove her from the board. Wanna usurp Nocticula. That's what's happening in Oroshimia. Baphomet wants to do it with some new type of demon. Enhanced with Nahindrian crystals. That's the story. How do you expect to defeat Nocticula in her dominion? We have followers in Alushinira. They will strike from the inside, cripple her, drain her blood, and then our army will bring down all its might given to us by the miraculous crystals. And Nocticula and her pathetic servants will fall. Enough storyteller. Vision fades. What a horrible vision. I'm completely exhausted and never expected to touch the memories of a fallen demon lord who had never found peace in the rift of repose. I shared a vision with you again. Like when you brought me to the stone chisel in Canabras. Strange. Could it be that those two objects are connected to each other or to you? So the crystals are demon blood. Yes, hardened blood, in which the spiritual power of the perish demon lord is sealed. In this case, the power of Olympian, who was killed in battle and locked in her own remains in this unusual way. So this city is built on Olympia's corpse, in a manner of speaking, yes. After the spiritual power of Olympia did not go to the rift of repose, Nocticola began to transform her dead body, forcing it to expand and assume a more solid static form. I can only guess what a nightmare this imprisonment was for Olympia's spiritual essence. How can the stone grant powers? 
I suppose that it happens as a result of some merging process, after which the unspent power of a demon lord will literally flow into the body of the one who uses the stone. What is the Rift of Repose? That is where the souls of fallen demons lords go. After death they usually return to their own abyssal realms. But if death finds them again before a year passes, the abyss dumps them in a cemetery. In this stone rift full of fog, the souls of the grand demonic dead turn to stone statues and stand for an eternity, slowly becoming threaded with cracks and gradually falling into ruin. It's a kingdom of decline and decay, and a visit there might serve as a good lesson to those who believe in their own might and deem themselves invincible. I had a brilliant idea. The stone knife is showman. Can I press? Do you still have it? Can I examine it again? I don't have it. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? What did I do with the knife? What did I do with the knife? I have no clue where the knife is. No, I never showed it to Shamira. What I did with the crystal, by the way, have I destroyed it? I know I was using the knife. With Volgef, perhaps? Or it might be in a chest? I hope it's in a chest. I, I don't remember what I did. I really don't remember what I did. If it's unremovable, when you acquire it, then I destroyed the crystal. If it's unremovable. Man, the consequences from Act 1 in Act 4. How was I supposed to fuck it? How was I supposed to know? Come on, what the fuck? Shit. Right back, I'm gonna take something sweet. Ah, better right back fast.
Well, this shit is done. I ain't giving on a Hindrian crystal. No bloody way. Speaking about the Hindrian, where is it? Can I use it for myself, maybe? yet How come there is no portal to Nexus from over here? I need to go on foot. Shit. We're gonna go for something now. Since I'm here, I'm gonna do Move that. Out. And then we go to the Battle Bliss Arena. I think Arena is next. I got that and Nocticola. Don't know if I should go to Nocticola immediately though. I need Ember for Nocticola. Will you?
this ship up there. How many more usages do I got? Four charges left. Expected. I will help where I can. Call me again if you need to. This was simple enough. Trample demon helm. Mangled helmet clearly crowned the head of a demon, high ranking one at that. Seems to have been clubbed off, leaving scraps of dry skin crusting onto the steel. Through an antiquities expert could reveal more about the helm for a storyteller. Piercing gaze, plus one inside voice attack and damage rolls against outsiders, as well as 10 competence bonus and persuasion skill checks. This is huge. I need those goggles. Oof. I guess all demons. There is something here. Always be ready for the worst. Thank God, Lang can reach everywhere. Never cease. Meditate on your mistakes. Might make you feel better. <laughs> 